The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Uh, today's guest will be Paula Douglas. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to have Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. Wednesday is the full day trading day. Hope you can join us. Thursday, we will have Stan Harley. And on Friday, we're going to have Dr. David Paul from the UK is going to be our guest. So uh, we are going to have a full week as we start out the getting ready for the holidays. Uh, it's always fun to talk to Paula because, guys, just she she goes all out at the holidays. Anyway, let's get on to the markets here. Uh, I posted a chart of the coffee, folks, because Mr. Z a week ago uh, was talking about buying the coffee uh, right there at, you can see it at $2 a pound. And, uh, folks, it's trading at two twenty eight today, folks. That's 28 cents in coffee. That's well over uh, $6,000 in a matter of five trading days. These are the kind of things that he posts into the room and other people, too, that are pretty good at this. Uh, they post it into the Tiger Den. So if you're, if you're looking for ideas, the Tiger Den is a good place uh, to go to look. I don't trade coffee, but, gosh, when you see moves like this, you have to give a hats off to him because, you know, he put his uh, money on the line. The reasoning for the trade is was the strong consolidation that it had. It was sitting right at a 50% retracement of one low and 382% of another low. And then, of course, it took off. Uh, his risk there was about two cents a pound, and he's made over uh, 22 cents a pound so far. That's a 10 to 1 risk reward payout, which is not bad in any language. Now, I want to talk a little bit about Tesla, folks, because it's in the news, and we talked about it last week, and we've got a nice chart that I prepared on Sunday. Uh, to talk about this because it's very important from my perspective because, you know, I'm basically a technician. I want you, you can see on the far left there, that 382 notation, that was the low, folks, from last year. That 382 retracement came in at 980. Uh, so far, that has been the low in Tesla, but I saw a trade under $1,000 a little while ago. What I want to talk about is if you look at the, the box on the right, that's the period of November the uh, 8th to the 12th, and you'll notice here that we made a perfect ABCD pattern, just about uh, $10 above the 382 retracement. I believe the high was 1109. The 382 came in at 1187. So, uh, you know, you're talking about a very small percentage on the stock. And if we break that, folks, if we break the low down there at 980, and of course, Mr. Musk is in the news just about every day now. And uh, if we break that, the ABCD structure on that takes you all the way down to 825. You know, 825 means you would be down more than $400 uh, a share. And believe me, these markets, they move quite a bit. We've got a huge gap at 900, if you remember. But uh, all I'm trying to point out to you is the importance of the a, B equals C, D. That's what it's all about for me. All right, let's take a couple seconds here and go across the pond and look at a couple markets that deserve our attention. The first one we're going to look at here is the uh, FTSE market. And, of course, uh, that's the, the uh, U.K. market, folks. And, of course, they're in the news for a lot of different things. Part of it is uh, terrorist attacks and stuff like that. And also the thing about the natural gas. I don't know if you folks know this or not. You know, we have a lot of friends over in the UK and a lot of students. And uh, one of the things that's really big over there, folks, are these wind turbines. I mean, they, they're really, that's what the price of natural gas has gone from 650 down to uh, four, uh, it hit, hit 475, 472 today. That was telling us that, you know, something's going on. And that's what it is over in the UK. They were responsible for the big run up to 6.5 from what our folks are telling us. And now with the wind turbines uh, doing about 10 times more business than they were before, that's the reasoning behind the natural gas. Folks, I, another thing that I found out over the weekend, you know, I, I've been an old farm boy from Terrell, Indiana for a long time. Our farm was really small. It was one acre. It was basically a backyard garden. But 
the, the thing that's important now in farming is the cost to get this stuff out. I mean, seed prices are going crazy. The price of anhydrous ammonium, you know, the nitrogen that goes into the soil for rep, rep, re, replenishing it, that has gone up three times. It used to be $400. Now it's $1,200 per acre. And uh, that, that's, a, that's a huge cost uh, to the farmer. So these costs will be passed on to us down the road, but uh, that's what's going on now. Today is a very, very important point in the natural gas. We talked about it uh, quite a bit. Uh, I sent out several uh, long I, well I said I'll cover the gold in just a second but I sent out a couple other ones that were that were very important one I, I try to do this every Sunday night well every evening too but I think I was watching Sunday night was the fact that we wanted to be a buyer of the natural gas today and what we were looking for is the natural gas opened higher now here we go I'm going to talk to you about the 382 because that's an important number. You'll see the natural gas uh, opens up uh, just about $1500 a contract. You notice how it hits the 382 twice. Now this is a 15 minute chart so that encompasses about 5 hours. It hits the 382 folks. The low that, that made today was a 1.27 expansion of that right down at 1472 uh, and from 1472 uh, the market took off and went all the way up to uh, the last time I saw it was around 1498 telling us that it certainly wanted to go you know a lot higher I want to bring up that uh, the last chart to show you where we are here on the natural gas because this is what we try to do is follow through with these as we watch these uh, go through uh, each time we, we look at these trades overnight. Because with the volatility that we're having, you want to keep your losses as near as possible. Now, the one I, I, I know I got, I got more compliment, comment, not compliments, but comments about, I did a 12-minute video about the gold market, folks, I uh, for the 24-7 folks. And I think it's the most interesting things I've ever seen about gold in a long, long time. I'm going to cover just a little bit of it. But one of the things that, that we talked about was the importance of of that resistance that we were having around that four, uh, 1873 level. This was the one that we sent out just as the market was making a new high uh, when it opened. You see it opened right at a new high by about a half a dollar. That made a perfect three drive to a top pattern. The market broke down, rallied up to uh, uh, 382. Uh, the low so far has been only 1858, uh, I believe. We rallied up and made a new high by about 20 cents and then we broke down again so this is such an important high and i will try to cover that when we get back from the break but uh, these are the kind of things that we do for the 24 7 folks is try to set them up and i'm hopefully sometime in the new year uh, i'm going to have a way to get these out to you instantaneously it might force me to go to social media i don't want to do that but if I do, I'll have to do that. Let's, uh, before the break comes up, I want to share with you, this is a chart from uh, our good friend John Jameson. And uh, this is the equity, the, the amount of capitalization into the, uh, the, bit, the cryptocurrency market, folks. So since last May, we have now completed an ABCD there. Now, we were at $1.7 trillion. Now we're above, we're, we're above $3 trillion. We're almost... Uh, uh, equal to Apple, folks. That's the whole thing. All right, we'll be right back, folks. 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. 
the Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I posted a weekly chart of gold going back to over the last 10 years. Uh, the thing I'd like you to look at, because we're going to expand this in just a second, if you look at the far left over there in 2012, you see that we had a 61% retracement. That rally, being a weekly, uh, lasted almost six months, stopping at the 61% retracement. You can see where we are on the right uh, what, what you're looking at with that downsloping uh, red line, that is a valid trend line. But the difference uh, between these two charts I want to go into for just a little bit. But uh, if you've ever doubted technical analysis, maybe this chart will remove all doubt. Take a look at the three drive to a bottom pattern that we had in December of 2016, gold trading at uh, $1,053 uh, was the low. Uh, from that level, we rallied up. Uh, to 30% to 1350. Then we came down, stopped at the exact 78%. Then we went into a very long consolidation for the next two years. And then we made another 78% retracement in August of 2018. That also happened to be a 61% retracement from the low back in 2016. I didn't draw that in because it had been a little too cluttered. The main thing that I wanted to show you is AB equals CD. Now, look at this long-term pattern. We had a low down there at 1030, uh, excuse me, at 1050. We rallied up to 1710. Then we dropped 240 bucks in a matter of about two weeks. And we went right down to the 382 retracement. That's point C. And if you add B plus C together, subtract A, that gives you a price of 1071, and the high on that spot gold contract, folks, was 1089. So that's pretty good. Now we backed off. You'll see we stopped right at a 61% retracement, and now we've been going sideways for just a little bit. Now what we want to do 
And what we want to do is we want to go just a little bit deeper. Here's something you hardly ever see me do, folks, and that's look at a monthly chart. So if I can find it, we're going to look at it, and I think I can find it. So let's see where we are, cowboy. Uh, there's the weekly. Ah, the trading gods are with me today. Hold on one second, folks. I think I got most of my computer problems fixed. Also, let's get up here to take a look at this. This is the gold chart on a monthly basis. Now, you look back here at 2000, you'll see gold was making a bottom right around 240 to 200. Well, 245, I believe, was the exact low. We'll call it 260. That was the low. It was there from 299 all the way through 2001. It stayed in that area. Remember, folks, gold had hit a high of $862 an ounce. In, on January the 20th of 1980, and it was down, folks, for 20 years. It was in a bear market. 20 years gold was in a bear market. And then from there, we rallied all the way up into August of 2011. And then from then we came down and we made a uh, nice 50% retracement right on the money. That was the low that we had at uh, 1,050. Then we went made a new high here about a year or so ago up at uh, 2090, and now we backed off a little bit. The reason why I spent so much time with this chart is because these two squares uh, are equal in, in timing. In other words, they're doing the same thing. The difference is we have to decide where we are. Are we at the left square? Or is this right square going to continue to go up? You can see the price objective, the minimum price objective, if we break out. And I mean, well, my breakout price is 10, 8, 10, 90, or excuse me, <laughs> 1890. If we get above 1890, you're, you're going to see 27. You're going to see 2700 and a lot higher than that, I believe, in gold, probably 3000. I don't know if you folks follow uh, Agora or uh, – the Stansbury letter with Jim Rickards, you know, he's extremely bullish. He's talking about $15,000 gold. Hey, boys and girls, trust me on this. If they can get Bitcoin to go to 65000 they can get gold to go to 30000 or 15000 whatever it happens to be. Because when these gold bugs get involved, I mean, shut the front door and raise the rent. Uh, you know, you'll you'll see a monster move. We're watching for that, and I don't. I believe it's coming, and that's why I spent so much time on it over the weekend was to show you that uh, we are really close to. I, I I'm actually short the gold. I mean, we shorted it at 72, and we put a stop at 75. We, you know, the first one made the, the only corrections we've had in gold over the past uh, three weeks have only been 11 11 dollars or 15 dollars an ounce. We got 14 dollars an ounce last night. Then it went up and made a new high. So when we when we get above 18, uh, say 1880 in gold, uh, boy, that that's I, what I'm praying for. And I hate to use that word in trading terms, but let's use the word expectation with to see a 382 retracement somewhere down around the uh, say say see see we had a high of a 64 six, 1810. If we could get it down to about 1810 here in the next day or two on a sharp down move, that's where I would really be looking to uh, get long to gold because you want to buy it at a 382 of that last low. I'm I'm following that all the time, but uh, th this is potential, folks. It's you don't hear me look at month or see me watch monthly charts very often, but the way that gold took off, and we've been very bullish, folks. If you remember from the last three weeks, every time, ever since it hit 1860. Jeez, 1760. You know we've been extremely bullish. Now we were out. We were out of the longs. Uh, we're now short from that uh, that level that we talked about on the video last night. That was around 1872. The stop was only three dollars. Three dollars on a, something that's uh, selling for 187 thousand dollars. Give me a break. That's not very much at all. So that's what we're paying very very close attention to. Um, I hope that helps uh, with that. When we come up to our break, we're going to have uh, Paula Douglas today, which is always fun to talk to her. But let's move on to a couple others that we need to to mention. Uh, we have been short. Th this is what I want to talk to you about, the news, folks. Everything in this news is telling about, you know, the gasoline and all this other stuff about the containers and everything. Look at the price of gasoline, folks. In the, the last three weeks, folks, we have dropped 30 cents a gallon, 30 cents a gallon. And, and what have we done here? 
Gasoline's gone up 30 cents a gallon. Shut the front door and raise the rent. What what kind of baloney are they trying to give us? Now we've been short we've been short crude oil, excuse me, the heating oil because it was the weaker of the contracts. And what we're doing here with the crude oil, you I'm going to get it up here today. You'll see that we were within uh, our price objective on this was at 230 and we got down to almost to the 1.27 today. So we we were we were going to be covering the the short uh, heating oil today that we shorted at up there at that 61% retracement level at 25260 and we took profits in that that's 17 cents folks that's $5 uh, a barrel in uh in, in crude so, and we were looking at a top in crude up around that 84 85 level but just like basil was basil was looking at the same thing you know so that's it i i think that the the it's i don't think it's the gas stations that are doing this mr bill i i don't know enough about that business to make well what, what am i talking about <laughs> i know i'm old curly folks i know one thing a b equals c d a b equals c d Okay, we're going to get take a little break here. We get back, we're going to have Paula Douglas on the line, and we're going to talk to her a little bit. 877-927-6648. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Paula Tomasini, Webb Douglas, on the line. PT, how are you doing? Good morning. I'm doing great. How about you? Paula, I was just going over my mental calendar, and do you realize it's been 20 years since you've been ordained as a minister? Yes, it has, as a matter of I, fact. I can't believe I remember <laughs> the I remember the party in Scottsdale when you rented the uh, the clubhouse at the country club, and we uh, Mark barbecued that uh, side of beef, and oh my God, we had and so many people, so much fun. But I can't believe it's been twenty years, folks. I don't know if you know this or not, but Paula actually married Sarah and I. Mark was my best man, and Paula uh, married uh, the two of us. So, and you still you still offer. Uh, free services for funerals, and you give veterans uh, free services too, don't you? You still used to do that? Oh, yes, absolutely. And first responders. Uh, oh, first responders too. Hey, folks, yep. let, let me give you a little background here. When Mark was writing the book here in the office, Paula would come over and she would sit behind us when these guys would come in from Chicago, New York, Switzerland, wherever they came from, and she would take copious notes. And later, uh, about, oh, I think many years later when we were kibitzing around, Mark said that every single word that he wrote was perused by you before he put it into print. That's true, isn't it? Yes, it is. Um, wow. and, that, and I'm glad you brought that up because, you know, way back when, and we're talking ancient history here, <laughs> you know, um, <laughs> Mark and I really started the field of trading psychology along with Van Tharp. And in the late 1980s, um, there was no such thing. And so our publisher absolutely refused to put my name on the books, even though they admitted that, yes, I had uh. helped write them. They, it was a man's world. And I'm not complaining. Mm -hmm. I'm not a women's liber. It just is what it is. So anyway, but Mark wanted to make sure that both of our perspectives were, were uh, you know, combined in the books because, as you all know, he was a retail broker, I was a floor trader, and so our two perspectives really worked well with the books, and yeah. obviously that's why they're still classics today and translated yeah. into nine languages now. Wow, it's, that's, that's amazing. Holy. Is one of them Swahili by any chance? Uh, we're, oh, that's a, next. That's next, next one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, I had to tell, go back to memory lane just a little bit. When uh, you guys moved here, uh, you got here on August the 16th of 1996, because that's the day we had the, the big uh, mini tornado here in Tucson. And I went to pick you guys up at the airport. I dropped you off at your new house. I came to my house, and I couldn't get in because the electricity was out. And I'm sitting there trying to get my garage door open, and I hear this lightning bolt. And the tree, we had the largest tree in the neighborhood, it was about 90 feet high, a sycamore, and it split in half, and half of it went into my uh, bedroom and bathroom. It just did about $50,000 worth of damage. So I'm sitting there uh, with the rain coming down, and oh my God, it was uh, it was terrible, but it, it turned out to be okay. But God, the, these dates I remember, I don't know, I hope I can still remember them when I'm 81, who knows. Paula, <laughs> what is the, what's the, you know, what's the main reason, you know, you've looked at all these you know, winning trades, losing trades and stuff what's the what's the thing if you had to pick one thing what is the most single reason people uh lose money in the markets if you could pick one they don't believe in themselves in themselves they don't believe oh. in their own ability to do what they need to do to trade effectively well, Hands down. Makes, I mean, because yeah. nine, 90 percent of everybody that I work with can't follow their rules or or they do it sporadically. Yeah. And, yeah. and the bottom line is, if you don't follow your rules without fail, if you don't follow them every single day, then you don't believe in your rules uh -huh. and you don't yeah. believe in your rules when you don't believe in yourself. Yeah. You you remember this, but back, yeah, this was the early '80s. But we were going through all those Merrill Lynch accounts, and you were you were the one that was doing the tabulating, uh, and we would go through how many trades they did and stuff like that. And the people that lost the most, from my memory, was the people that were trading too much. They were trading eight, ten, twelve right. times a day, and their losses would be fifty dollars, a hundred dollars, seventy-five dollars. Those guys lost all the time, and then there would be the other group. The, the, the other group, the ones that didn't use stops at all, they would have a four or $5,000 loss, only do oh, one yeah. trade. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So, yeah, yeah. Those I, mean, the I, ones that I, I mean, I understand that everybody gets into trading because they want to be their own boss. But they have to understand that trading is a business and you still need rules. You know, you yep. wouldn't open a restaurant without 
knowing what your food cost is and, and your employment cost and your rent and your overhead. Yeah. And everybody thinks, well, hey, I just, I just buy a computer, I buy a trading program, and poof, I'm going to make money. Well, no, you have to have rules. It is a business. Mm -hmm. So that, that, those are the kind of traders that will fail when they don't, don't approach their mm -hmm. trading as a business. Wow. Yeah, I know. I can remember some of those things. I, 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 I was, in fact, I was shocked that some traders would do twenty and twenty-five trades a day, and uh, mm -hmm. you, you would get war you would get worn out from doing that uh, without any trouble. Right. Let me uh, let me ask you a question. Uh, what what is, what services do you offer new traders, uh, Paula? Um, well, it's not just for new traders. It's at all levels of traders, but um, there's an open invitation to any, everyone and anyone, no matter what level of trading you are. I have a free 30-minute chat that, that's for everybody. You just call me anytime, and we can chat for 30 minutes, and you can see what I provide and ask your questions, and I'll, I'll do my best to answer them. And then after that, if you choose to go forward, you know, I have uh, hourly consultations or packages of consultations. If you want more okay. than one, you know, we can tailor it to whatever you want. Yeah, well, that's that's a great service to have for sure. How would folks uh, reach you, PT, if they wanted to? What's the best number to call you at? 442-268-5480. That's in Palm Springs, California, as I recall. So far. <laughs> so far, yeah, so far. Yeah. <laughs> how 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 is how's your food situation? You got enough supply of everything over there? Well, I have to admit I have stocked up on canned goods and dry goods. Yes. So uh -huh. I'm I'm set for about three months. Okay. Well, you yeah. only weigh ninety. Um, you only weigh you only weigh ninety pounds, so that's six months for everybody else. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> hey, listen, we're gonna we're gonna have you back on again uh, soon. So I hope the folks take advantage. Repeat that number one more time for those of the they're driving around in their car. It's four four two two six eight five four eight zero, and you can always uh, find me at markdouglas dot com. Okay, listen, thanks a lot. We're going to have you on again pretty soon uh, because we've got other things that we want to talk to you about. But okay, I want to wish you cool. a happy holiday. By the way, my daughter, Laren, called me and we, Thanksgiving coming up. And she says, Dad, she said, do you ever talk to the Douglas? I forgot to tell her that Mark passed away. We had that oh. wonderful Thanksgiving together. The kids had just graduated. This was 30 years ago. They just graduated from, uh, was that, where was that one? What in Chicago we did? that uh, the kids came to and we had such a wonderful time wherever it was it yeah. was a long time ago and they still remembered it so she's a great oh, yeah. cook folks besides being a market <laughs> uh, you you can do just about everything that's for sure and also she was the princess of the chicago greek parade for how many years yes. you had that running oh you had that running uh, yeah at roditis <laughs> 10 years right about 10 yeah. years yeah wow that was pretty that's cool. really good yeah. All right. We'll have you on again, dear. So happy holidays right. to you and hope we'll see you after the first of the year sometime. We'll be right okay, back, folks. Good. You bet. Bye-bye. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. 
David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, just when I thought I was getting everything correct on my computer, I posted a chart of the long-term treasury bond market. Uh, again, I would like for you to take a look at the big Thunderbolt ABCD, the old Benoit Mandelbrot fractal. Uh, that's on a long-term basis. You'll see here that that's when the top was made up in there. That's when they were telling us that it was all about uh, – Hold on, sucks coming in small. I can't do anything about it, uh, Al. I have, uh, I tried to do something that <laughs> not qualified to do, post a new chart, and uh, nothing else I can do about it. That, uh, I, I'll, I'll have it for you tomorrow, but right now there's, there's just nothing else that I can do with it uh, to get it straight. There's just, uh, it's just one of those things that. It makes it a little more difficult to uh, – anyway, we'll see it right here. Anyway, uh, copper is a rebuy right here. Mr. Z, I am not so sure of that. And, you know, the main reason is if uh, – I am not even going to try to put a chart up because it's beyond my frustration period here. I had everything I wanted to talk, talk to you about. The main thing is to watch the gold. And uh, we get – if gold starts to get – and I really don't believe gold's going to get above it on this run. I think we're going to get a little bit of a correction here maybe to shake out they've got to shake out a few people we had a beautiful signal up there at that 1873 but if we get start getting above there folks this could be like you know a run that you have that you don't see very often and that's the whole key you know above 1879 i mean you can't be short gold you can't be short silver i posted some of those charts i spent i spent 12 13 minutes on a video over the weekend talking about it so it's not it's already given you a couple thousand dollars in profit so uh, that's just from day trading because it's moving around quite a bit. But the chart that I just posted is in the Treasury bond. It's the same type of thing where the market goes up, makes a huge high. And you remember what they were telling us back about a year ago? Oh, we've got zero interest rates. Oh, my goodness. You better get your money into zero interest rates right now so you can pay someone to take care of your money. But they're not going to guarantee you any of your money back and you're not you're going to have to pay them to do that. Mm, boy, that sounds like a really good deal. I'd line up for that puppy. Well, that's read. Uh, you want to read a book about that? Read my own story, Bernard Baruch, where he says the most number one thing in that book is don't be concerned on the return on your money. 
be concerned on the return of your money. And anybody that's invested with uh, what was his name, uh, Bernie Madoff, uh, you'll get that picture uh, in the mail uh, real soon. So those are a few things that we're paying very close attention to. I, I have to tell one other story uh, about Paula. Uh, we were in uh, the Greek town for something I forget. We were with four other traders. There were there were five of us, and I was a designated driver because I I don't drink. I might not have a glass of wine, but I I don't whiskey vodka i don't drink that kind of stuff so i was a designated driver the problem was it was about 2 30 in the morning in, in chicago and uh, gee i was getting really tired and i had five people that had had a little bit too much to drink but finally i put them all i got them all together i i got them in the taxi and guess what there wasn't room for me <laughs> so I, I had to take an extra taxi and get another taxi to go home at least i got them home but they they always uh, joked about that over the years so uh, Let's get back to the bond market, the story of the day, folks. You can see bonds are getting hit again, and, and they're going to be they're going to continue to be hit because they're going to be borrowing money for the infrastructure and then for the social programs and all the other stuff. The only way they can get that money is to go to the market and the market's going to say, sure, we'll be happy to loan it to you, but it's going to be at a higher cost. And that's going to be also included in the cost of the 2.17 trillion, whatever it happens to be, whatever these things come up with. These are huge amounts, folks. And these are inflationary on top of the other stuff that we're getting at. Now, let, let's move on to one other thing that we we talked about the price of oil, the price of gasoline, the price of bonds. You know, take a take a look at what's going on uh, with turkeys and hams and stuff. You know, they're talking about, you know, the price is up. Now, go in and look at your supermarket and see how much higher they were than last year. They are higher, but not like, you know, super high inflation. Everything in the news is hyperinflation, hyperinflation. Well, remember, food and energy are our two biggest thing. And look what energy's done in the futures market. We're down six dollars a barrel in crude oil. We're down over, we're over, over thirty cents lower in the in the heating oil, and gasoline. You know, gasoline is uh, you know way lower than it was a few months ago. But the prices are going higher because the news is out there. Oh yes, and we've got a shortage of gas. There's no shortage of gasoline. Come on, give me a break. You know, there's plenty of that stuff out there, but it's what they put in the news, and that's where they get you, between the rock and the hard place. And you know what happens when that happens. Kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. I also want to, one more time, I'd like to thank Mr. Z for all the things he does in the room because he posts every trade that he does. And that trade that he did in coffee, I would say, why don't I buy some coffee? And I'm not even a coffee drinker, but my goodness, you can see it went from $2 a pound up to 228 today, and it looks like it's uh, going to be going higher. We haven't been this high uh, in a long time, so that's another one. Also, keep an eye on Tesla, folks, because if Tesla uh, gets below that 980 level, uh, that sets up an ABCD down to uh, to $800 uh, a share, and that's up from the 1250. Remember, the 1.618 expansion on the Tesla came in at 1218. And now we're trading, uh, you know, considerably. Uh, the last time I saw, we were considerably below, below a thousand dollars a share, uh, in that. So let's remind ourselves: uh, you have to be careful in these markets, folks. When I show you these charts, five eighty nine eighty nine. Thank you very much, Mr. Z seven. The let, this is why I'm a technician, folks. I, I have a hard time with the news people. I really do. And uh, I'm sure they have a hard time with me, too, because it took me a long time to train myself to not not think of what they were trying to tell us in these things. You know, uh, one of the things that I was very, very bullish on today was a natural gas because we were down at a perfect 61 percent retracement there at that 472 level. And of course, we had a nice move off of it from the bottom so far. But uh, all I was doing was watching the action around that time. We took out the previous week's low by two dollars and couldn't go anywhere. You know, we, and not only that, but overnight we went to a 382 retracement. We rallied two thousand dollars and dropped three thousand. That was a five thousand dollar move, and then it ran another. We've had an eight thousand dollar move in crude oil today. Uh, natural gas, folks. That's a great market to trade if you, you get away from those crazy stocks. But trade natural gas. That's the pork bellies of the futures market, folks. That thing has. Let me just show you again uh, how how, ma how many swings we had. Well, let me do the whole thing so you'll be able to see the see the new low because that's where the 61% retracement came in and uh, was really in, in exciting to watch. Anyway, let's get this up here. 
Okay, there we go. I think uh, Mr. Z been trading coffee down there when it was very very low. Uh, crude oil uh, Z, I think we got a we got a possibility of a buy. Uh, a, there's the number. Mr. Z's posted 78 and a quarter. Uh, so far we've been down to 79, but 78 is a really key number in crude oil, Mr. Z. Uh, I don't want to post it because it'll be too small, but that's going to be a 78 percent level of uh, retracement. And we go below 78, you know, stop and think now. You're, you're six dollars a barrel lower. And you're still going down with bullish news. Hey, let's take a break. We'll be right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, we're back, folks. I wanted to uh, emphasize the importance of this level of uh, 18 uh, 79 uh, in the December gold because if we get above that that means we might not have a correction and we might just take off this long term gold chart looks about as bullish as anything I've seen in a very very long time and uh, so we'll we'll see what uh, happens to that so and you know again uh, we don't know what the trading gods are going to tell us but uh, we have to pay attention to this up in here 
I'm, I'm assuming that we are going to get down to about 1810 in the gold market, and that'll be a really good buying opportunity if, if we do get to that level. Uh, we're having some good strength in the uh, – another one to pay really close attention to, folks, is keep an eye on wheat here. Uh, all you have to do is look at the, the 24-7 newsletter, and you'll see this incredible uh, three drive to a top that we're having in December wheat up here at this uh, 18 uh, – Excuse me, 18, maybe 18 next year. At the 8, uh, 839 level, we're trading at 824 now in D-suite. But if we get to 839, that would be an area where you'd really want to be able to uh, get in and uh, you know try to uh, collect some cash. We're selling off a little bit in the market. Uh, there may be a correction in stocks sometime in the next uh, century. I don't know if it'll be in the 20, uh, 2021 or 2022 or 2026, whatever it happens to be. But someday the stock boys are going to have a uh, lesson in uh, sanity. The bonds are making almost ready break, break, break below 59. At 64, they were setting at the 61% retracement. We're now five handles lower, folks. Uh, and these things look really bad on the chart. Yeah, anybody that's looked at a bond chart can tell you that they certainly look like they're ready to uh, you know, roll over. But uh, we'll watch that uh, as we go through. Tomorrow, we're going to have Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. Wednesday's the full trading day. Hope you can join us. And Thursday, we have Stan Harley. And Friday, we're going to have uh, David Paul from uh, Vector Vest in the UK. So live every day in an atti in attitude of gratitude and may God bless. Mm -hmm.